students in this video let's discuss theorem 1 of trigonometry chapter for any real numbers x and y for sin x is equals to sin y x is equals to n pi plus minus 1 whole raised to n y where n belongs to integer now we need to prove that for sin x is equals to sin y x is equals to n pi plus minus 1 whole raised to n into y this is already the proved statement so we just need to show the proof here let's see how we can do that we need to take sin x is equals to sin y and prove this so let's take sin x is equals to sin y sin x is equals to sin y i can also write it as sin x minus sin y by simply shifting sin y on the other side of the equation so sin x minus sin y we have a formula 2 cos x plus y divided by 2 and sin x minus y divided by 2 and this 0 will remain 0 here this 2 will disappear when I will divide the 0 by 2. So what will remain is cos x plus y by 2 and sin x minus y by 2. And now I can equate cos x plus y by 2 is equals to 0 and sin x minus y by 2 is equals to 0 like this. Now don't you think cos x plus y by 2 is equals to 0 resembles cos theta is equals to 0? Yes, it resembles. And for cos theta is equals to 0, we have theta is equals to 2n plus 1 pi by 2. So here theta will be x plus y by 2 and 0 will be 0. If I use this relation, I will have x plus y divided by 2 is equals to 2n plus 1 pi by 2. And similarly here sin x minus y divided by 2 equals to 0 resembles sin theta is equals to 0. Where theta is equals to x minus y by 2 and 0 is 0. For sin theta is equals to 0 we have a relation theta is equals to n pi. Then for this sin x minus y by 2 the, this relation will be like x minus y by 2 is equals to n pi. So I write the same relations here. This relation I write here and this relation I write here. Next 2, 2 get cancelled and what remains is x plus y 2n plus 1 and pi. And here this 2 get multiplies to 2n pi. As we are interested in finding x is equals to n pi plus minus 1 whole raised to n into y, we can shift this y on the other side of the equation. Because see here, we have x on the left hand side and y on the right hand side. So let us shift this y on the other side of the equation. And here also let's shift this y on the other side of the equation. Like this. Next, as I told you, we are interested in finding this relation of x. So when I compare these two results of x, so here pi is accompanied by 2n and here pi is accompanied by 2n plus 1. So instead of writing 2n, 2n plus 1, we can generalize it to n pi, isn't it? And we also have a y here, but minus 1 whole raised to n is missing. For that, we need to make some changes to this equation. Let us see here. This minus, instead of writing minus here, I'll change it to plus and minus I'll write it in the bracket so that it will give the same effect. The plus minus will give minus itself. And as I need the minus 1 here, I'll take minus 1 and I'll raise 2n plus 1 as power. Because this will give the same effect as this. This plus minus will be minus and minus 1 whole raised to 2n plus 1 no matter which value of n you replace here, you will always end up getting minus 1 here. So if you get minus 1 into y, that will result in minus y itself, isn't it? I made the slight changes, but the effect remains same. Similarly here, x is equals to 2n pi plus y. What I'll do is, instead of plus here, plus I'll write it here and minus 1 and this 2 raised to n, I'll raise it here. And minus 1, 2 raised to n, no matter what, which values of n you put, you will always end up having a plus 1 here. So plus 1 into y will be plus y. I have just made the changes with the same effect. So when I compare this two equations now, x will remain as it is. And instead of 2n and 2n plus 1, I will generalize it as n. And this pi and the plus, here also we have plus. And minus 1 we have on both the sides and 2n and 2n plus 1 let's generalize this at n and you have both the sides y that is y here that's all so if you have any doubt let me know in comments thank you